Alright guys, welcome to your 64th Objective C tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to begin working with directories. Now, if you're familiar with Windows only, a directory is the same thing as a folder. It's where you store all your files and you know help you navigate around your computer. So, uh, let's just go ahead and begin getting right into code. So, ns, the first thing we need to do is create that file manager and you can go ahead and name it manager like before, not manger manager that's a tidbit better and let's go ahead and make it ns file manager and default manager you can go ahead and put this all on one line I didn't know why I wasn't in the last tutorial so, and go ahead and ns string make an empty string called path or actually whatever you want I'm gonna name my path and this is gonna store the path well we just need it for an example that we're gonna be teaching right now so the first thing I want to teach you to do is how to get current directory and what you need to do is go ahead and take that path string variable that you have that's empty right now and we want to set it equal to manager current directory path just like this now what this current directory path method does is it takes your path as a string and it stores it in your path variable pretty cool huh so now <clears throat> Anytime we want the name of our path, we just have to ns log it out. Uh, we won't do anything fancy. Just print it out like that. And go ahead and build and run this and check out what we got. So this is our directory right here, where we're working, where our program is running from. Bucky test build debug. And if you look visually in our build debug, you can see our program right here. So that verifies that this is indeed where our program is running from. So if you say, all right, big whoop, we can see what directory our programs are running from. What else cool things can we do? Well, check this out. We have one program in here, nothing much in this file. Go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you how to add another directory right inside of here. Pretty cool, be able to create a new directory. So let's go ahead and create a new directory. And make sure you spell directory wrong. And go ahead and add an if statement. Might as well get rid of our errors right here. NS log. And just but could not create a new directory. And if we get that, then just return one or anything you want. So go ahead and inside your if statement, what you want to do is you want to get that manager and you want to call a method called create directory at path. And the path is what you want the new directory to be named. I want mine to be named uh, new dir. Yeah, just new dir. I won't do anything too fancy. So as attributes, here's where it can get kind of a. Uh, actually, I think this is uh this is the old. Let's see create directory path what you need to do is that's the old method um, that's deprecated now so with intermediate directories and just put no for this and this means no intermediate directories of course and then after this attributes uh, set this equal to nil because we don't want any attributes and for our error, if we get any, just put no. Uh, this is the new method. That other one that popped up automatically was the old way of doing things, and we don't want that. So if this entire thing, it's a boolean method, it either returns yes or no. If it returns no, then it means something went wrong. And it very well could have, because that was a lot of words I had to type. I probably misspelled something. So let's go ahead and uh, make sure we created. Yep, so check this out. A new directory was just created. So what we want to do is go ahead and move that to trash because when we run this program again it's going to try to create one on top of that so we want to make sure uh, nothing is there so the last thing I'm going to teach you to do is rename that directory that we just created so we won't even put all the if statements and stuff for this what we're going to do is just call that manager object and we're going to call move item at path there we go and as the first parameter it takes is what item do you want to move and we want to move that new dir because it's going to be created and 
after this we write to path where do we want to move it remember that old trick in the last uh, tutorial you move it in the same directory just give it a new name so name it bacon eater or something like something totally different so you can see and of course the last one is error null and I mean that looks pretty good so hopefully what this is going to do is it's going to create a new directory called newder and then it's going to take that and rename it to bacon eater so uh... yeah let's see what we get build and run this oh nice bacon eater right there so what this did pretty much is got the current directory easy enough created a new directory named new dir and it took that directory picked it up renamed it and popped it back down exactly in the same spot so i mean it kind of moved it somewhere else with a new name give the appearance that i was renaming it since there's no really method just to rename a directory that's what you need to do so uh, that's that for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. And that's all we're going to be covering with the directories. There's a lot more methods, but, you know, when we're writing programs, if we need any more methods, we'll just I'll just teach them to you guys as we go along. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And the source code is going to be in the link below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.